Welcome to the Irish National Heritage Park, where the rich tapestry of Ireland's past comes alive. Nestled along the banks of the River Slaney in County Wexford, this open-air museum spans over 35 acres, offering a journey through 9,000 years of Irish history. Today we'll walk through time from the ancient Stone Age to the Viking Age and beyond. So lace up your boots and let's explore how Ireland's people lived, worked and worshipped across the centuries. Our journey begins in the Mesolithic period, around 7000 BC, when the earliest settlers arrived in Ireland. They were hunter-gatherers, living off the land in small mobile groups. Imagine a world where the forests stretched for miles and rivers teemed with fish. These people used simple stone tools, like the ones you see here, to hunt fish and gather food. Their homes were made of timber and thatch, providing shelter from Ireland's unpredictable weather. Though they lived thousands of years ago, these people laid the foundation for what Ireland would become, a land deeply connected to nature, where survival depended on the ability to adapt to the environment. Fast forward to the Neolithic period, around 4000 BC, and Ireland undergoes a transformation. Agriculture has arrived and with it the first farmers. This was a time of great change, as people began to settle in one place, cultivating crops and raising livestock. It's here that Ireland's famous stone monuments, like Newgrange, began to appear. These stone monuments, like the dolmen before you, were not just graves but symbols of power and belief in an afterlife. The Neolithic people were skilled builders, able to transport massive stones with primitive technology, an impressive feat by any standard. Farming gave people more time to devote to rituals and community, shaping the spiritual life of early Ireland. With the dawn of the Bronze Age around 2000 BC, Ireland entered a period of technological advancement. Metalworking transformed society. Bronze, an alloy of copper and tin, was used to make tools, weapons and ornaments. For the first time, people could forge swords and axes, symbols of both war and prestige. Imagine living in this time, where mastery of metal could mean the difference between survival and defeat. Warriors became more powerful, and society became more hierarchical. Trade flourished, connecting Ireland with far-off lands like Spain and Britain, as they sought valuable metals and other goods. Now we enter a time of deep spiritual change, the early Christian period, around 500 AD. St. Patrick and other missionaries brought Christianity to Ireland, forever altering the island's cultural and religious landscape. Monasteries like this one became centers of learning, art and faith.
The monks here weren't just religious figures, they were also scholars. They copied ancient texts, preserving knowledge during the so-called Dark Ages. Their work laid the foundation for Ireland's reputation as the island of saints and scholars. These monasteries were a beacon of culture and learning, not just in Ireland, but across Europe. Now we enter the Viking Age, around 800 AD. Ireland's coasts were no longer safe as Norsemen arrived in their longships, raiding and later settling. The Vikings brought with them not only destruction but also trade and new technologies. Towns like Dublin, Wexford and Waterford were founded by these seafaring people. The Vikings were skilled sailors and traders, connecting Ireland with a vast network that spanned from Scandinavia to Byzantium. They introduced new urban settlements, like this one, where Irish and Norse cultures began to blend over time. These fierce warriors and traders had a lasting impact on Ireland's towns and economy. As we come to the end of our journey, we've traveled through thousands of years of Irish history, from the earliest hunter-gatherers to the Viking Age. The Irish National Heritage Park offers an incredible glimpse into the past, where you can walk in the footsteps of Ireland's ancestors. Whether you're here to learn, explore, or simply enjoy the beautiful scenery, this park brings history to life in a way that no textbook ever could. Ireland's story is one of resilience, innovation, and deep cultural roots, and it continues to shape the land and people today. We hope this walk through time has given you a taste of that rich heritage. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and until next time, Slawn Go Foal, goodbye for now.